Good day to everyone. Welcome to today's session where you will learn a little bit about Cambridge International AS and A Levels Biology. Now, what exactly that you will learn for A Levels Biology? I'm going to bring you through in today's session so that you get a clearer understanding of what you expect to learn. Now, Cambridge International AS and A Levels prepare students well for university because they've learned to go into a subject in considerable depth. There's the ability to really understand the depth and richness and the detail of a subject. It's a wonderful preparation for what they are going to face at university. So this is a statement made by Christoph Guttetek, Dean of Undergraduate Admissions, Duke University in USA. So why Cambridge A-Levels? I've got five points here. The first one is, a student will acquire crystal clear understanding of this subject. And not only that, he or she will acquire very high standard of practical skills. So based on my experience, the practical skills that they acquire will be very similar to first year practical in a university in Australia. Number three, promote analytical and critical thinking. So nowadays, um, in, in the field of research, in uh, undergraduate programs, assignments, and also in the working world, in projects, um, be it employee or employer, both will need analytical and critical thinking. So it is time to actually practice and promote these skills that will be very useful in, in your future. And number four, learn how applied biology benefit mankind. And number five, there are clearly outlined syllabus and many references available. So I'll bring you through each item one by one. Acquire crystal clear understanding. So after going through the learning of A-level biology, you will think and communicate like a professional biologist. For example, definitions of biological term, what is in vitro fertilization IVF, you will know exactly it means the addition of sperm to eggs in a petri dish or other container in which fertilization takes place. And once when someone says stroke, you know exactly stroke is the damage to the brain caused by bursting or blockage of an artery. So it is very specific and you will know it very crystal clearly. You will also be able to describe and explain biological principles and concepts. So what you see here, all these are actually the topics that you will cover in A-level biology. So most of them are very basic um, topics of biology and some of them are applied biological science, okay, in a higher level like biodiversity and conservation, genetic technology. These are higher levels. The rest are all very basic, which will give you a quite a sufficient depth um, and foundation for you if you're interested to study medicine or medical sciences or biological sciences, biochemistry, biotechnology, genetic engineering, marine engineering, uh, bioinformatics. So whichever that's biologically related, that would be very, very good foundation for you. And not only that, you're also going to acquire high standard of practical skills. So these are all my students when they were doing the practical in the lab. So every week they will have an opportunity to conduct experiment in the lab that will really uh, allow them sufficient time to acquire practical skills that are very useful so that they are able to do experiments. Okay, so here I'm going to elaborate more about the practical skills. So in Cambridge A-levels, 
you're going to learn how to set up experiments to investigate some specific biological processes. So all this you're going to learn in your syllabus, like fresh slides preparation, biochemical tests, measuring enzyme activities, photometer, respirometer, and so on. So all these things you'll learn in your syllabus, right? And not only that, you will know how to use microscope very, very well and very quickly able to identify um, cells and biological structures and tissues of the slides yeah, under the microscope. And micrometry is to measure things that you view under the microscope. You will also be able to follow instructions to conduct experiment and collect data. And then you will also be able to acquire the skills and knowledge in planning experiment, presenting results, do statistical analysis, evaluate the methods of the experiment and the data obtained, and make a suitable conclusions. All these are very important for you in future if you want to do research or when you, you read the journals of scientific experiments and research, you will understand very, very well how they come about. Okay. Um, Cambridge A-Levels Biology also promote analytical and critical thinking. So in the entire course of this subject, you will have a lot of practice to locate, select, organize and present information from a variety of sources, to translate information from one form to another, to manipulate numerical and other data, to use information to identify patterns, report trends, and draw conclusions, and also promote social, economical, biological, and ethical considerations in solving human problem. Um, also to give reasoned explanations for phenomena, patterns, and relationships, to make predictions and hypotheses, to apply knowledge, including principles, to new situations, demonstrate an awareness of the limitations of biological theories and models as well, and also to solve problems. So, other than that, you will also learn about how applied biology have benefited uh, the mankind. So, all these, the list here, are some of the examples that you're going to learn in the syllabus, like immobilized enzymes where enzymes becomes more heat resistant and you can reuse the enzymes and the products can be isolated easily and in a cheaper manner. Monoclonal antibodies that are used for diagnosis and treatment, such, such as uh, how we test our blood, blood group, okay? uh, how to locate blood clot in the body, uh, locating cancer cells, Okay, and for treatment, it can be used to treat uh, breast cancer, it can be used to treat uh, skin cancer, rheumatoid arthritis, leukemia, autoimmune diseases. Okay, um, you also learn about IVF, selective breeding to improve the quality and the yield of crop plants as well as the um, and livestock, seed bank and gene bank where most of the variety of genes of uh, species uh, or genus is being stored okay, for future use to maintain biodiversity on earth, which is so important for the survival of all the living things which are interlinked together by the food chain. Genetic engineering, which is a very powerful tool where we can cut a piece of gene from an organism and insert it into another organism which is totally different species. For example, cut the human insulin gene can be transferred into the bacteria and the bacteria will use it to produce insulin. So this has been mass produced to uh, allow very um, insulin that is reasonably priced to be available to people living with diabetes. So we have also used genetic engineering to produce factor eight, which is a blood clotting factor, which is most needed by hemophiliacs. Genetic engineering has also been used to, to insert certain genes into our crop plants and livestock in order to improve their quality. For example, 
uh, enhance vitamin A in uh, the rice, okay, uh, making the maize becomes uh, insect res resistance, making salmon to grow faster, uh, making the crop plant like maize, cotton and tobacco to be herbicide resistant and insecticide resistant so that improve their qualities and hence improve their yield in order to feed the forever uh, increasing population number on earth. Genetic screening allow us to actually find out whether individual has got uh, genetically inherited diseases, for example, breast cancer, uh, hemophilia, sickle cell anemia, Huntington's disease and cystic fibrosis. So genetic screening is really good. And also genetic fingerprinting is very important for us to find out paternity, the father of a child, okay, especially when it comes to the, the will of the parents, father especially. Um, also in the suspect to, the, to a certain crime, so we can actually find out. Um, gene therapy. So gene therapy is specifically used to treat genetic diseases where a normal allele will be added into the patient so that the cell will be expressing the normal allele and then the cell becomes normal and the person becomes normal and recover from the disease. So a lot of research were being done for gene therapy and the students will get an exposure on gene therapy. Microarray is quite new, all right? Um, Microarray, you see this, this gene chip here? So this is used for microarray. Micro means very tiny. Array means to analyze. So it is, can be used to find out the presence of certain genes and alleles in the cell. It can be used to compare the presence and absence of genes between two um, cells of different origin. It can also be used to detect the expression of gene in certain cell, for example, cancer cell versus normal cell. What are the genes that are highly expressed in cancer cell, which is not in the normal cell? And then if we put a certain treatment to this cancer cell, does it bring it back to normal? So we can use microarray to actually find out some cellular metabolism as well as the genetic content of cell. So, A-levels biology also have got very clearly outlined syllabus and many references. So this is an example of a syllabus that students will know exactly what they need to study, they need to know, and what will be tested in exam. So it's very crystal clear. So therefore, you will know exactly what you need to learn, how much you need to learn, and what will be tested. Right? And there are many references. So strong support of your learning and preparation for examination from those references. The textbook follows the syllabus closely, so it's very easy to read. And all the important thing you need to learn, all the biological terms, definitions, they're all found in the textbook. And the textbook also contain um, SAQ, self-assessment question and answers, ECQ, end of chapter question, which is very similar to the uh, past year exam question. So you get exposure uh, with SAQ, exactly what you are supposed to learn. ECQ means the style of exam questions. Yeah. So there will also be a lot of video lessons where you can play at your own free time to revise and can pause and replay again uh, to understand certain new concepts that are introduced to you and new principles um, and also to help you to write your, your own notes. Okay, There are quiz and class tests that will bring to your attention of the syllabus that you need to learn up. So that will actually be a very good guidance. Past your questions and answers are available online. So it's easily accessible. So you can use them to practice doing questions and answering them. There are also past year reports for you to have a more in-depth understanding of certain question, how candidates did in these questions, what examiners are looking for, what are the common mistakes. So there are also documents of common mistakes in examination so that when you look at it, you, you will be more careful 
of the common mistake made by candidates. And there are also consultation available with the lecturers. So while you are revising, you, you, you don't understand certain definitions, certain processes, or you have doubt, you can always consult lecturers. We are all very, uh, very supportive of students' learning and we love them to clarify their doubts so they can always consult us. Yep. So in short, why Cambridge A-Levels biology? Because um, a student will be able to acquire crystal clear understanding of biology. So it's a very good foundation to be built up. Acquire high standard of practical skills. So wherever you go, even if you become a doctor, you might also want to do research. So with that foundation, you will have this to support you in doing research in future. Number three, promote analytical and critical thinking. So wherever you are, whatever career you take up, there will be problem solving, there will be um, analytical and critical thinking that's required. So you will be trained right from the start. So you become very familiar and very skillful at it. And number four, you will learn how applied biology benefits mankind. And number five, there are clearly outlined syllabus and many references available. So this is what Cambridge learners will achieve after they've gone through the whole course. They learn how to be a responsible person using the knowledge and skills that they have because they learn about the biological, social, economical, and ethical um, consideration in applying the knowledge. They learn to be reflective of what they learn. They learn to be innovative, so how to improve on certain experiments and processes. They get to be engaged in a group of students to learn together, to do the project together, to support each other. And they learn to be confident with, with what they have learned. So these are the pictures showing, showing the students in class, presenting their knowledge. Okay, These are students um, engaging with each other outside the class, discussing. And this is also doing practicals together, discussing and learning together. So Cambridge learners will, will have all these five qualities that are being um, promoted um, during the whole course. So with that, I hope that I have shed some, some uh, light to you in Cambridge AS and A-level international biology. Thank you very much for listening to the sharing. I wish you all the best.